What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you a, another review on My Hero Academia. It's been a hot, hot minute since we've talked any about My Hero, but I figured we'd talk about this OVA. I watched it over the weekend and uh, I gotta say it was really fun. It was good to just kind of get some My Hero after what feels like a very long time, uh, at least for me. It's been a few months, but uh, this was definitely a much appreciated episode for me to watch just because it's cool. It has nothing to do with what's going on in the manga or anything. It's just kind of fun just to watch. Uh, but overall, fun, fun episode. But without further ado, guys, let's get to it. So we start this episode with kind of getting a little bit of a recap as to their situation. They're still in lockdown where, you know, the League of Villains is out doing their thing. So this is kind of like wrapping into or kind of timeline wise is having to do with, you know, what we saw in the last season. So it was fun. You know, it was kind of earlier, obviously not as to where the season ended, but earlier in, in the um, season when they were all being locked up so it was fun because we have them you know it's snow time and apparently christmas has passed you know they're just locked up right now and they're kind of wondering you know will they be able to have the a sports festival and whatnot you know just kind of having some good times and uh it's just not gonna happen this year because of the events that's been going on and you know understandably so however they do start thinking about you know what it could have been you know what events that would have happened um we had Kaminari thinking about Nejire and say Mage Raiden um you know that, that was kind of interesting and uh you know just uh Okacho, as I like to pronounce, she likes to think about food and the fun. And, you know, we had you know, Kirishima thinking about, you know, competing. Just overall, everyone just having, you know, these thoughts of possible fun activities. However, none of this happens. And, you know, we have the best boy show up. Uh, that's right. Mirio shows up. He goes in and is like, say it ain't snow, which is actually kind of funny. I love him showing up and introducing this little, uh, I guess, kind of Yu-Gi-Oh style Bakugan, Baku, whatever you want to call it, uh, battle uh, where they have their... Uh, each other facing, you know, facing each other in this kind of like card game where the AI is using their, like, generates their, I guess, avatars and they're fighting against each other. You know, it's kind of fun. I think it's a cool concept. We have, you know, you know, good old Miss Baby, that's what I like to call her. She likes to present here and, you know, say the rules of the game, which is fun. I think that this was cool. You know, basically you're eliminating each other, you know, based on abilities and the AI can do, pushing them out of bounds, all that good jazz. So we get a series of different battles. I thought it was kind of fun to watch. Um, it was really cool. Uh, fun to see uh, one of the things that kind of throws off I guess most people even the characters here is like why are their eyes like so like bug eyes you know like some big old eyes and it's just like it's fun to see but it's really really random uh, I guess that 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 extra feature feels a little unnecessary but it was fun to see how these different matchups were occurring matchups that maybe never actually occur you know are actually you know being made here and i like it because too we like with momo's battle you know she used strategy you know she used her own like her own character uh, and we saw that she also used um okacho and uh, very, very strategic way of, uh, you know, going about the fight. I actually like that. The three-on-three -three fight, uh, I thought that was great. I think that was fun to watch. Uh, but just overall, it was it was a good time seeing all these guys. But it gets serious towards the very end. Of course, when Bakugo comes into the, into the fold, we have him showing up. And he's, you know, wondering what the hell's going on. And Kaminari and Kirishima easily kind of bait him into getting into this. And, you know, he angrily gets into the fight. I love how he just picks up Mineta, just tosses him aside, essentially. And he wants to challenge Deku. Good old Bako. In that sense, he does not change. You know, he uses his character. And Deku uses his. They go at it. And it's kind of, um, 
interesting to see these two fight. Like, that, that was the most intense fight between the two, having them go at it. And as they're seeing the fight unfold between their AIs, we see how they're both angry, not in, like, at each other, but angry at the way they see this fighting being done because it's like, that's not how I fight. That's I've, I've gotten way better than that. Just criticizing the AI for not going and, like, fighting in a more accurate way which again we gotta understand this is actually a uh, ai so there's limitations to what the ai may or may not know so i mean if that battle ends in a draw we then have uh, them going basically into overtime going for an extra fight here and we have deku and pulling out an extra card which i have no idea why this would have been an extra card but we have him getting an a dog while Bakugo gets All Might which is to be like the most OP card and we see All Might not fighting the dog but wanting to rescue it and it just kind of flies away which I thought was just really random I, I don't know why that one ends in a draw as well and to both their shocks you know like Bakugo takes it a lot worse you know we see Deku fanboying while he's just utterly angry and disappointed beyond belief we see him out of frustration of course destroys the ai battle stadium machine whatever you want to call it and it was a shame it truly was a shame because i've I actually really liked that maybe this could have been something that we could have gotten more in the future like this would have been so fun to see like i i don't i hate that they did that but it is what it is, and the battle ends, and of course, Bakugo destroying it. And then by the end of very end of the episode, we have Aizawa not showing up, but announcing that card games are to be banned from the um, Class 1A. So, it sucks. Overall, I think this was a fun episode. No implications, like I said, whatsoever. Just a good old OVA, just like what you would expect. So, this was something that was announced uh, a while back, so it was really fun to see, you know, screenshots and finally seeing this actually come to fruition. So, I'm very happy. Like I said, we should be getting some uh my hero probably maybe in the spring of this next year so i'm looking forward to that but overall i mean it was fun to see a good little watch here for kind of rolling in the month so overall really enjoyed it if you guys have not gotten the chance to watch it i assure you i assure you guys it is a good watch but that is it for me guys i hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have leave a like comment below your thoughts and as always i'll stay safe guys and take care of yourselves and others and i'll catch you all later